Hello, welcome to my video. Today, I am proving why Matthew's wrong. So, basically, Matthew made a video where he said, that, Hey, time travel doesn't work because, uh, well, it just doesn't. You'll see why in a second, And but yeah. Basically, he said it doesn't work. I am going to prove him wrong. But first, I need to do something. Okay, now that I have a pencil, which I... Actually, I don't need the pencil. Okay, anyways. And so... Yeah. Let's start watching his video. So I can show why he's wrong. Going forward in time would have the problem of, well, the future is always in flux. Okay, so here's my rebuttal. No, well, from the day time travel is invented till afterwards. So, let's bring it over here. Well, actually, I can explain it using his little drawing. So basically, from the day time travel is invented, so let's actually say it's here. I'm going to move it over to here. So, from the day time travel is invented, so, oh, oh, past here, I'm just writing it down for later, uh, let's add a bit more of an A, and I'll just acronym future. So, from the day time travel is in invented, it, so I'm going to acronym that, well not acronym it, but shorten it, so invention of time travel is here. Let's say that. So, from that day forward, her, her time travel is completely safe. So, even no matter how long the future is forward, her, you'll always be able to skip to that point, and just until time travel won't work. So, <clears throat> let's say, for example, once the universe just destroys itself, then time travel will no longer be possible, and if you try to time travel, it'll likely just break. It just won't be able to. Once time is broken, and then it just won't work. But to the past, well, you will get into that. But until the future, until time doesn't work, it's always safe to go into the future, even if it's in flux. It's always set. So even if you break, so even if you change something in the future, that something's always constant. There's nothing wrong with going into the future. Back to his video. You went forward in time and saw something, and then went back in time to happened. You never would have saw that thing, and you never would have Okay, so, here's the thing. You go forward in time to stop something. Let's say, you go forward in time to stop yourself from eating some expired cheese in your fridge. Well, if you go forward to stop yourself from eating the expired cheese, you stop yourself from eating the expired cheese, you just don't, don't eat the expired cheese because it's in the future, you just stop yourself, assuming it's from the day the time travel is invented. So you just stop yourself from eating the cheese. The past is a bit more complicated. Changed it. That is the problem with going forward, but the problem with going backwards is a lot more complicated. Yeah. As most movies and shows have shown, going backwards in time is super easy. They're all wrong. At least some of them. One of the main problems with changing the past is almost like the traveling forward and going back and changing it. You see, it contradicts itself. So if this is present, past, future, you travel back to change something that you didn't like, like a bad day. Okay, so I'm going to stop him here. I've watched this video, so I kind of know what happens. Basically, what he's saying... Hey, I have technology. He's in the past. And that is true. <clears throat> so if you go into the past and try to stop a bad day, like he used... Well, if you stop the bad day, that's kind of impossible, because chances are 
you actually cause the bad day. Eh? And, well, yeah, you'll always go back. Uh, so even from the bad day, you were always there in the bad day. You'll always know you went back in time. And even if at the time of the bad day, you didn't know that time travel was even possible. You were just unassuming. So you'll always have that bad day no matter what. Uh, there's no, and to be honest, if I had to say, eh, so from the day of invention of time travel to the future, that's the only safe place to change things. You can only go back to the minute time travel is invented. That's the only safe place. To the past, well, let's say you try and kill your grandpa. I don't know why, maybe you just didn't like him. Then, well, you'll always not be able to. There'll always be something to stop you, because your grandpa will always live. But let's say he something kills your grandpa that wasn't you. Well, yeah. Either way, this is basically just a big loophole. You try and kill your grandpa. Um, pa, and you succeed, well, chances are something happened where you were already being, being born or something, like your mom, your grandma, sorry, pregnant with your mom or dad. Now that's kind of weird. I'm going to step away and let's continue watching Matthew's uh, video to see what he has to say about that, if he does. You never would, so that bad, bad day never would have happened, resulting in... You'll always you have really it, though. Would have gone back to change it Anyways, it never we'll see if he rebuttals mine. That means that it would have happened because he didn't change it. It's complicated, but it makes a lot of sense. There is the theory of in which traveling in time and changing something actually just branches out into an entirely new timeline. Like, here's the change. <clears throat> So that branches off into a completely new timeline with the results of that change. Now, yeah, that's possible. That's probably the most ideal way time travel works. Where if you go back and change something, like you kill your grandpa, you can't go back in time. Back to the whenever you were before. You'll always be stuck in the place where you killed your grandpa, but you still exist. Because matter can't be created nor destroyed. You probably know that. And I'm, and we're both just his uh, dumb eighth graders at this time, so we probably aren't sure. Like, so this is based on, on movies and stuff. For example, Back to the Future, he would not get like futurized, as to where he starts disappearing, because even if, if his mom never met, as long as he fixed it, it would be fine. And he did because obviously he does not want his mom dating him. That's a little odd, but uh, even if his dad never met his mom, he would still just be kind of stuck there because, as well, he, Marty would have never made the time machine which he got into, so he would just be stuck. The time machine would never be there, or because it just wouldn't have gone there. It would have no reason. And then if it, but let's say Marty decided to go back to that same time, and because he wanted to tell him. Of hey, it worked well. Well, then there would be two DeLoreans. And awesome car, by the way. And even Either way, most ideal. Always have a big effect. But if you were to find a way to like travel back to the original timeline, nothing would have changed. So time travel is a bit mind-boggling because yeah. you can't really achieve. Sound like German Clarkson. Except maybe traveling in time and. Anyways, um, I'm not going to finish this. If he does have a point, then he'll probably bring it up. But, yeah. <laughs> Let's see why he says so to this person who brought up the same thing. But will it? Seeing something doesn't the same. Like Bananakin in Star Trek. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's say for, like, a prophecy. So, if there's, like, a prophecy where... My videos are always longer than Matthew's. Look, this one's 21 seconds. Mine's already 10. I can explain things for a while. Anyway, so let's say Harry Potter, he... There are two kids who could be before the prophecy. One of them dies. One of them will always be it. But let's say Anakin is told, you, your wife will die. Padme is going to die. And so he tries to save her. Well, it's a prophecy. It's always going to be, happen. Even if you try to make it not. 
So if uh, Anakin just didn't do anything to try and save Padme, Padme would still die. If Anakin tried to do something to save Padme, Padme would still die. Padme was going to die. Something or Anyways, yeah, if he has any other counterpoints that I'm missing because I'm not watching the entire video, have him tell me. I want to know just in case so that way I can say, but what about this?